Okay, so we're we're talking organization here. We've already set up all of our all of our workspaces and domains so that it's real easy for us to have that high level organization. But still, you're saying, "Hey, Chris, I still have a ton of workspaces that I, I could be going into for various different reasons. How do I organize uh, the content? You know, even that content, so I could easily find the things that are most important for me." Well, don't worry. In this video, I'm going to show you the appropriate ways, the right ways to pin workspace, workspaces to make them accessible for you. Uh, be you, be it if you're a developer, if you're an analyst, data scientist, wherever you happen to be, I'm going to show you the best way to do that. All right, so do the whole YouTube thing, like, subscribe, share, all that stuff. It really helps me out. I really appreciate it. And if you want early access to this content, become a member for as little as $5 a month, five. You can get early access to all these videos. Um, uh, but don't worry, it's not behind a paywall. They all come out for everyone eventually. But uh, uh, if you want early access and support the channel, you know, five bucks ain't, ain't you know, it's basically a, a cup of coffee, right? Um, uh, so feel free. All right, so let's talk about uh, where we're at. So I'm in uh, I'm in Fabric right now, and I can kind of oopsies I got my keyboards all mixed up here. You know we don't ever go back. So I've got I'm in Fabric here, right? And I I can go in, and one of the big things that I've done uh, is I've made sure that all of my workspaces are in domains. So they're all in domains, and that means. I can easily go in and I can filter down to a given domain. So I can uh, put a filter in on global and I just see my global workspaces, or I can even do multiples. So I can actually see my glo you know, whatever it happens to be, I can see it all here, or I can clear out the filter, clear all. Um, so that's, it's relatively easy for me to like uh, go in and out of the domains, but there's still a lot of content that's in here. Well. Let's talk about what it is we're going to be doing when it comes to like how do we find the right workspace for uh, where we're go going to like where where we work right. So, if you're a developer, you know the place you're going to be living and spending all your time, uh, the bulk of your time, is inside your dev environment, right? So you do development, right? So you spend a great deal of time there uh, doing development. You'll do some validation most of the time in production. But the like 80% plus of your time, you're going to be spending inside dev. So what I want you to do, if you're a developer, is I want you to go through and pin up your your development environments, right? So I've got, uh, in this case, I've got my uh, uh, data analyst and my data engineering workspaces pinned because this is where I'm going to be doing the bulk of my work. Um, I may also have, uh, and it depends on if you're a data analyst or a data engineer, I might also pin together uh, my production workspaces. If I'm doing like testing out of something or validating it, uh, I might pin those in temporarily, uh, but I'll often remove those pins uh, because I'm really focused primarily upon that development side. Now, conversely, if you're just like a business analyst or you're an analyst and you're, you're working with production data all of the time, why don't you actually reverse it, right? So the bulk of your time is spent looking at reviewing production information. You may have access to dev, you may have access to test for validation, sign off, those types of things. Uh, but the majority of time you're gonna be uh, like looking at production environment. Uh, so in those cases, we're going to pin to the top your production uh, uh, workspaces that you're using. Now, in this case, I I, I would be uh, like fit you know like focused in on my global, uh, which has got all my central managed content. But I also might want to have those random straggler legacy environments that's critical for uh, my work. So, for example, um, uh, I've got my Dunder Mifflin. Um, uh, I've got my Dunder Mifflin, oh, whoopsies, pin it, uh, uh, workspace there. And so when I go in, I've got my, uh, I, I've got my work, my Dunder Mifflin and my production environments 
all pinned to the top, right? So as a business unit, I spend a lot of time in uh, my paper production uh, reporting and analytics uh, workspace, but I also spend a lot in a lot of time inside my global workspaces, right? So these are kind of the best organizational patterns because when we're talking pinning, we're talking about efficiency in our workflow uh, along with our organizational efforts, right? So they kind of layer on top of each other, all right? Okay, I hope you see like, hey, this is pinning uh, workspaces is a really simple thing for you to do. It you know helps bring the workspaces that you're using all the time to the top. This strategy of like focusing in on what your roles are and only pinning a handful of items that are, are key to your day-to-day -day activities is how you should be using pin pinned items. Do not be afraid to pin, unpin, like there's no cost associated with it. We're just talking about like how you can make yourself more efficient as you work inside of Fabric, all right? Now, if you have any questions about that, leave that down in the comments below, reach out to me on LinkedIn and any of that stuff. Um, uh, you know, it all helps uh, support the channel. We really appreciate that. You have the best day ever. Peace. Right, I get it. There's a lot of stuff in here. And while pinning may seem simple, there's a lot of things that people are challenged with in Fabric. If you need help, head over to bakertilly.com slash digital. Myself or, or what, one of the other people I work with, if you click on the form to get more information, we'll reach out to you. We'll, we'll get you set up and we'll, we'll, we'll make sure you get taken care of. If you wanna learn more, check out either one of these videos and transform yourself into a data guy. Peace.